In this video, we'll discuss how to enable your portal and publish a job. To enable your portal, you want to navigate to the Settings under Basic Setup Portal. You can slide this toggle over to Yes to activate that portal. From there below, you'll have the option to integrate with the affiliated job boards, customize the look and feel of your portal with a title or logo, Showing advanced settings will give you a description box. You can add in text here that will display on your portal just below your company name and logo. There are some requirements you can set out when an applicant does submit a, an application. The footer will be displayed on the very bottom of your portal page. You can also have an email sent to you or another individual when someone does apply for a position by selecting this to on and specifying who you'd like that email sent to. From there, once this portal is saved, we can navigate to a job. In this job, the very top right hand corner, you notice the publish section is currently grayed out as it has not been published. Selecting that job will do several things. By default, the title will pull in along with the employer name which will default to your company name as opposed to the company you're hiring for and the location. The description by default won't pull in just in case there are sensitive details that you'd like omitted. However, selecting copy description will pull that description directly over from the job page. EEO job classification will give you the capability to set a classification for a job based on the specific job type. From there, once the required fields are added, in this case description, title, employer name, location, and if you're a business premium user, EEO job classification, I can slide this over ye yes to display it on my portal. You just want to remember to save this up above in order to publish that job. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.